It's coming back up into conversation as to why Tana Mojo did not receive the same backlash that Logan Paul once did whenever he was to film unalived bodies in his YouTube video, even having one of those bodies in the background of his YouTube thumbnail. Yet Tana Mojo and Shanann Rose went on to film an allegedly unalived man in a public restroom at the beach. Let's set the scene. It's 2016. Tana Mojo and Shanann Rose are out for a fun beach day vlogging. I mean, what else were YouTubers doing back in 2016? That is when they go into a public restroom to see that there is a man unresponsive laying face down and not moving. Would your first reaction be to whip out a camera and start filming this body for YouTube content? The normal average person is probably not going to do that. But the average 2016 influencer who wanted attention and views and popularity so bad wasn't empathetic enough to the situation at hand. Instead, they saw it as an opportunity for a, oh my God, live footage moment. Because before we get into anything, I don't know if you guys remember, but back in 2016, 2017, the whole live footage footage thing was a really popular sort of way to get views, likes, AdSense. And so at the time it wasn't really kind of like foreign out of the ordinary to do that. Is that me saying that it's okay? Obviously not. Obviously not. It's what Tana was saying in the video that really put a sour taste in people's mouths. We were like filming the whole thing. I'm going to insert all of that right now. And I was originally just going to include all of those clips in a vlog and then I was like live footage story time. But anyways, this story is so exciting because I have a bunch of live footage to throw in. Saying that she has something really exciting just goes to show how young and dumb she was at the time. Is being young and dumb and excuse? I mean, kinda. Kinda. Tana was still a teenager at this point in time. And that is also not to mention the fact that there was an adult woman with her hanging out with her. I mean, it's already weird enough whenever there are like older influencers, YouTubers who are trying to hang out with the younger underage YouTubers, content creators, whoever the fuck, because they're trying to get that audience. But we're not going to talk about that. We're only just going to talk about all of what Tana Mojo did and not the fact that Shanann Rose, Shannon Rose, don't care, was holding the door open being like, and not using it as an opportunity to pull Tanner aside and be like, hey, this really isn't worth it in the long run, sweetheart. This is going to affect your credibility and your future in the future. So it's probably best that we just go ahead, get some help, call somebody and let those people figure that out. Because I mean, there is nothing that Tanner Mojo or Shannon Rose could have done in that moment to help the guy other than go seek out help. Tanner said in the video at the time, that she and Shannon went over to a lifeguard to go and basically alert him of who and what they found in the public restroom. Because it was kind of unclear at the time on whether this guy was actually passed out, if he was actually gone. Either way, either way, filming someone like that in a state like that is just so out of the ordinary to me. Because you have people on both sides who are like, well, she was just a teenager and she was just unempathetic pathetic and desensitized and whatnot. That is an issue. 100% an issue to be so desensitized to a literal corpse that you're like, oh my God, like this is such an OMG live footage moment. But then you have other people who are like, well, at 17, I wasn't filming corpses and uploading it on YouTube. I think that this is a situation of a teenager being extremely unempathetic and ignorant to the situation at hand. A lot of the reason because of who Tana had surrounded herself with. You have this grown ass adult woman with her not setting an example and trying to tell Tana, hey, maybe we shouldn't do this. Because if you know anything about Tana Mojo, I've been watching Tana Mojo since I was like 15. She must have had 
pretty terrible people in her life to make her feel this type of way about a situation like this. Now, once again, am I excusing the actions here? Obviously not. I think that it is highly atrocious to just film somebody who has had to have really just terrible things happen to them for them to end up in a point in life where they're inside a public restroom at the beach ODing. This really could have been an opportunity to spread awareness about mental health and the fact that using substances to cope with the negatives and the atrocities that happen in life, such as traumas, that using substances is never the way to go. But no, instead it was used as a <gasps> OMG video. And I think that's why people are bringing this up now because it was wasn't the same level of backlash that Logan Paul had. I think honestly, the difference with the Tana Mojo situation and Logan Paul is the fact that Logan Paul went to a forest to intentionally film what was in this forest, which is obviously the suicide forest and that is a whole separate issue within itself that has already been spoken about like plenty of times but so many of you were sending me this situation to see what my opinion is on it and I just think honestly don't think that there was any malicious intent to go on the hunt at the beach to find a random man who OD'd I think that it's a lesson that should be taught to the youth of like what and what not to do because let's be completely honest here guys people especially teenagers and kids have been desensitized for so long due to the internet and it is scary. There was an adult there who could have set an example, especially because once again, if you've watched Tana Mojo for a while, you know about her background in not really having parental figures, but you have this adult ass lady who is right there, but is, but is going along with what a teenager is doing. Like, I think the situation is honestly really sad and my condolences go out to the person who tragically lost their lives in such a awful, awful sad way. Now, with all of that being said, this is just how I feel about this entire thing. If you feel differently or you want to share your opinions as well, let me know down the comment section below. Thank you for your submissions and your time today, everybody. Take care of yourselves and most of all, love your fucking selves.